All right, also we have a 2014 Honda CRF 50F. It's in really good condition. It was well taken care of, uh, maintained at the dealer. Um, you can tell there's not like a lot of dirt or rust or buildup. Tires have these little flappy things on them still. Um, and it's only six years old, but at the same time, I've seen a lot of bikes like completely destroyed in my time in six years, uh, just from simply neglecting them. Um, this one's been well maintained. Uh, I would say uh, the only issue that we've really experienced with it is that I read online that they messed with the carb um, to kind of restrict how fast it goes. Um, and I, I would say it's more so the restriction is more to do with like how it bogs when you give it gas. So I haven't done enough research to figure out what, if it's too rich or too lean, but um, yeah, there's definitely something going on there. It has so much more potential than it's, than it's actually delivering. Um, it has a ton of torque. I've owned a number of these types of bikes over the years with this style engine. I've owned a CT70, uh, C70 Passport, Honda Z50, and um, this one by far has the most torque. However, it, it um, I, I think also since the engine is so new and the compression is so good, it takes a little bit more to get it going. It usually takes like three to four kicks to get it going. Um, Maybe that's why, or maybe it's the improper settings on the carb. Um, so either way, uh, I'll show you, I'll give it a couple kicks over and I'll just kind of cruise around in the yard here, but it's got a ton of torque. I mean, even with me and maybe it's because I'm like 200 pounds and I'm grown ass adult that shouldn't be on this uh, tiny like kid motorcycle, but um, it, the thing wants to wheelie like all the way into third gear. Like I can be going, I took it for a cruise around the block um, and the, put it into third and I know how to like use this automatic style engine where you turn down the throttle and it's like even if it's like still kind of winding down after you turn it it still wants to wheelie like in third gear like it's just a little but it's enough that like I'm like geez I don't know if I want like little man on here cruising around doing a wheelie before I kind of like figure out how to make this a little a little bit safer um so anyways I'll show you um, I'll show you me starting it and kind of just what that looks like. All right. So, uh, also I do not need to turn on the choke when I start it. So I'm assuming it's like restricted air wise, perhaps. Um, so I just turned on the key, turned on the fuel, kind of like let the fuel go in for a minute. Again, yeah, I don't even put the choke on. Alright, well that's that's pretty unusual. Uh, normally just not start the first kick. Um, you can see when I give it gas, it like it bogs before the response is very slow. like when it's running. That's what it sounds like. 